So Kuwait's an Islamic country and basically alcohol is banned there so you don't really have sort of nightlife or night venues as you know so discotheques and bars however obviously given the advent of internet social media and online or digital platforms there's a lot of sort of budding musicians around the region that are sharing content and you know with accessibility to different styles that are emerging around the world people are obviously kind of taking their experiences and repackaging them or reinventing themselves through sound as, a, as one type of medium for instance. When I was um, 14 uh, I used to sort of DJ um, parties in Kuwait on the weekends and priorities in Kuwait obviously private parties and I even went as far as I used to be the, the chosen or selected DJ for segregated parties meaning girls used to have their little parties on the side and they used to be mixed parties and in order to sort of DJ girls parties I had to go meet the parents they had to be comfortable with me as a guy in, in a household with like you know I don't know 60 to 100 girls dancing their you know bums off so it was it was a really interesting experience because once I developed that relationship with sort of with parents and whatnot, I was very much in demand, I remember, at, at 14 years old. Being signed that compilation was very interesting for me for two reasons. Firstly, because the track that they chose was uh, on my debut album was my most, um, I guess, experimental track. And the track, you know, features Kuwaiti Arabic vocals on top of sort of my experience to sort of underground, tech house, minimal house music. So to merge those two worlds and have them resonate with you know, a large compilation like Hotel Cost was really big for me and, you know, it's, it'll be two years this summer since I put that track out and till this date people keep discovering it and, you know, shooting messages on Twitter and Facebook and all kinds of social media and, you know, it's really being embraced, I have to say, globally and that, I think, is the biggest sort of, uh, what is it you say, and then that makes me feel chuffed, I guess. <laughs> this year to me, in my head, is the year of, of touring and performing live. I, uh, I debuted my live performance in, in Dubai in January at a Tiger Transit event, which was really fantastic. And then I recently performed in Pennsylvania at another music conference. Um, and looking forward, we'll see where that goes. But basically, my, my live format is an audiovisual format again, um, where I sort of, sort of took all my music, chopped it up into little pieces, took all my content, uh, video content that I created, chopped it up into little pieces, repackage it and represent it live over a one hour sort of audiovisual experience. The top five people that come to mind have to be um, Damon Albarn of the Gorillas, uh, Kanye West in a whole different realm. It's because of I mean, his creativity to me is phenomenal. Uh, Bjork, huge influence. Tom York, Radiohead. Um, how many more do you want? I mean, those are I think the primary people, and and of course Sasha, I guess one day too. I mean, those five people to me would be I guess a dream come true.